So you might have got the question, what happens when you put a URL into the browser and press enter? And I think the best way to figure this out yourself is to trace the, the network requests in your local network. I'm just going to show you how I do how I do this. I use Mikrotix packet sniffer feature. So you can see I configured it to stream stuff that it captures on 192.168.15, my ArchNix machine, to my macOS machine. So let's get that, let's just start it up. I've had some issues and I've actually reported in this Wireshark issue, but let me just get rid of this. So you're seeing all sorts of stuff like, uh, well, there's a ping going on there. I'm gonna close this browser because I don't want some background Chrome stuff to interfere with this session. Um, and yeah, you can see that I am pinging 8888. And I've got DNS resolution on and all the other stuff in the preferences. Um, I'm also, as you may be seeing up here, I'm filtering on TZSP that allows, so I'm listening on this, on this interface, but I'm filtering only the packets that are directed to me via Microtech. So anyway, let's get let's get to the point here. Let's let's curl and see what happens. URL, fantastic URL of my homepage without any encryption. Okay. So what happens? Well, let's just see here. Booms. So I'm I'm seeking to the bottom, but let's just go to the top and see what happens here. So first off, huh? It would appear that I think I looked up the DNS over SSL. So system D resolve help statistics. Um, resolve henry.icky.fi That's strange to see over TLS. I would expect it to see over T DNS. Anyway, it did something there, and it got the IP, I guess. And then it begins to open up a TCP connection. You see this SYN, SYN ACK, ACK. And then it does the HTTP request. And then you can see here, this little line here just shows you like the beginning of the beginning of the sort of transaction uh, of the of the particular uh, stream here. So this is just some packets, and you can assemble the packets in a couple of ways. But follow HTTP stream is probably the easiest way. And you can see the whole, basically all those packets just amount to that. If that makes any sense. Then uh, this is an annoying thing about Wireshark. You have to go back to TZSP. And then I can see everything of the session. And what else is there to look at? And that's, let's try to resolve. Oh yeah, here we go. If this is what a, uh, it looks like system D is doing it over, TL, uh, over TLS to some extent. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Let's um, do an authentic, um, a curl of a SSL site. And just to make it extra interesting, I'm gonna put in the path. You know, you might get that question, can you see the path? Well, short story is no, but let's, let's go. Let me just clear this again. So, my client reports that it's a 404, but what do we see here? Well, first off we see, okay, it, it probably has the DNS cached. 
So now it's doing HTTPS connection, opens up TCP, right? And we probably just want to follow this at this point just to see what the hell's going on. And yeah, looks like some certificates, Amazon root, la di da di da Amazon Trust. You can, you can see the domain, so maybe you shouldn't have anything personal in the domain, you know. <laughs> and it's happening over HTTP2 here. Otherwise, you can't see much going on at all, right? 443. You can see the that my web page is on hosted on CloudFront. It's doing uh, some back and forths. You can't see obviously that the error code was four or four. You just can't see you can't see Jack. So yeah, but the the initial TCP setup is the same. You see, you see the syn, the syn ack, the ack, then comes the then comes all the TLS, then then uh, then we're back on TCP, TLS, TCP, TLS. So I guess you can follow the T, yeah, you can probably follow the TLS stream separately. Yeah, you can. Well, we can't, but perhaps. <laughs> um, sometimes I would expect to see maybe some OCSP checks, but I don't see them here. OCSP is like verifying the the certificates, I think, in the in in line or what what have you, in case some of them have been revoked. But yeah, I hope that I hope you got something out of that. This is how you Wireshark how to exactly find out what's going on uh, when when you communicate um, on a, what level is this on the on a network level. <laughs> to um, and you can see that you can see the beginning of the of the the secure session and the end of the secure session. You see that line. So this is what's happening on a network level, guys. With SSL, you don't see anything. There are ways to kind of strip SSL and have this intermediate certificate, but it's so damn tricky. I I haven't figured it out yet myself. Me. And of course, oh yeah, just to find NTP is important. SSL doesn't work unless you have accurate time. I'll leave it there. Thanks you for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe and see ya. Bye. Oh my gosh, I gotta get better at this.